pumpkins with cat. Welcome back everybody. This is Happy Haunting. I'm Mike here for everything spooky all year round. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at an inflatable from our friends at D'Angelo. We have actually uh, reviewed seven of their inflatables over the years so far. We reviewed this eight foot cat with wings that made it in my display last year, as did the eight foot spooky spider and a Grim Reaper arch that was 10 feet tall. It was a showstopper in my display. We have a couple of Easter inflatables, that big rabbit with his little sidekick buddy. Those are separate inflatables. I love those, put those out every year. Then we had a seven in one inflatable. It's got pumpkins with a ghost and a tombstone. We also have two more inflatables here. One was a pumpkin with the ghosts coming out of the top, as well as an assortment of uh, jack-o'-lanterns, and then we of course have our 12-foot ghastly ghost. Very creepy. So I guess technically that was nine inflatables. This makes it number 10, our 10th D'Angelo inflatable, and uh, I can't wait to see what it is. And the box doesn't really give a whole lot of indication, but I've spoiled it a little bit. It is a pumpkin with cats. The barcode on the top just says long pumpkin. So I like to label my boxes. Sometimes they come with labels, sometimes they don't. Um, but just to see what that is, let's take a look at their Amazon page. I will put a link to the D'Angelo store in the description of this video. But as you can see, they do a lot of inflatables, Halloween, Christmas, basically all the major holidays we've got going on here. We, of course, are all about Halloween. And if we take a look at their assortment so far, it looks like we've got a dragon. There's that Grim Reaper archway I had last year, a scary clown. That's cool some witches, a couple of different pumpkins. We got this one, we reviewed that one previously. And uh, there's just a, a nice little assortment here of lots of different um, thematic options, whether you're going for more cutesy or more scary. Um, it looks like what they have sent us though is the eight foot long inflatable pumpkin with a cat. Look at that mischievous grin on that cat. Absolutely love it. Looks like this eye might blink. It's, it does have, I think it said seven LED lights. And uh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the reviews. And they do have some interesting pictures along the way. Look how happy these people are to get their inflatable. Hopefully we will have the same opinion but when we make it to the reviews. So out of nine reviews, it looks like there are all four and five stars. So that's a good sign. But will we agree with them? There is only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what's inside, which is a nicely compacted inflatable. Let's pull that out. We do have a set of water bags. So these will act as the weights in the bottom of the inflatable. These, I really love these because you can just easily fill them up with water, which everyone has on hand. It weighs it down at the end of the time period you want to display it. It's easy to empty it out, get rid of them. Comes with a number of stakes. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's at least 10 stakes in here. I don't, however, see any rope. We have an instruction sheet, though we don't really need that. So included, we, are, we have the plastic bags, the power adapter, ropes, ground stakes, and a built-in blower. Let's go ahead and take this outside and see how it looks. Don't you just love this orange color? This pumpkin, it just screams Halloween to me. All right, as we unfurl our inflatable here, we're gonna first check to make sure that the zippers are closed. On the back, I can see we do have a fan. One of the reviews said, you know, it inflated pretty quickly, so that's good. There is a zipper here where we could insert those water bags or weights. I like to put rocks in them myself. It's just easier for me since they're all over the yard. So the zipper is closed. Our cord here that's about six feet long or so is all ready to get plugged in. Let's do that. And it is starting to inflate. We have lights automatically popping on, so that's good. There is a red light, it looks like, or some sort of red coloring in the eye there. And of course, I can't wait to see this cat inflated. <music> 
So there we go, it inflated in probably under a minute and it's quite wide, so it feels very sturdy on its own. I think even though it came with all of those stakes so that we don't necessarily even need to use them, I think just a couple of weights in the bottom is gonna keep this thing from blowing away. Um, but let me go ahead and bring the camera in and we'll take a closer look. We really love how dimensional this inflatable is. It has the five separate pumpkins that are only connected by a small section, which makes it look like they're all individual pumpkins. And it's great that they have individual faces. So this one, of course, has the red LED eye. They all have their own little personalities. But the big personality comes from the cat. Look at that grin. It's got the little extra white in his eyes to give it a bit of a sparkle. The tail stands up on its own. The teeth in this mouth look vicious. And of course it's got the pink accents on the ears and the nose. From the side, it even has an interesting look. So there's no additional artwork on the back side, so it is pretty much meant to be viewed only from the front or the sides. There are some extra claws on the cat's paw, but as we make our way down, you can see there are tether points on each of the pumpkins. So you probably don't need that rope. You can just tether it straight to the ground. All right, so what do you think? I am impressed by this. I, again, love the stability. That's very important, I think, in an inflatable. But the showstopper is, of course, this cat. He is super cute, adorable. I absolutely love him. He's gonna go great with all my other cat inflatables and pumpkin inflatables. So I like that sort of versatility in this one. But of course, the real question is, what is it gonna look like at night? Let's go ahead and wait for it to get a bit darker and take another look. Now that it's gotten a little bit darker, we can see it all lit up, and I wouldn't mind a few more LEDs. I mean, we do have one red eye. I kind of feel like if they had more of those and more of the eyes, it would give it a little bit more detail. And, and the body of the cat is just a little bit dark, so I think it might require a little extra exterior illumination. But overall, I think it is a great inflatable, and I'd love to hear your comments too. If you are interested in purchasing this inflatable, again, there will be a link to it in the description below as well as to the D'Angelo store. And I want to thank them for providing this inflatable for us. So thank you, D'Angelo, and thank you to all of our patrons. If you're interested in joining our Fright Club, be sure to check out a link to my Patreon page in the description below. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, take care and happy haunting.